Greetings from the Leptis Magna a monument here in Libya and happy birthday Duncan. This extraordinary place uh, was built by the Romans which means it's been around almost as long as some of your farts and I'd just like to share with you some of the memories as they linger in the same way that perhaps those farts also linger. And the first time that I ever met you, Duncan, I was uh, being picked up and we were driving on the motorway past Meadow Hall where the big thermometer gauge is. And you turned to me and you said that there is no way that the temperature was what it said there, which was perhaps the first indication to me of firstly how pernickety you are and secondly your ability to cause an argument even with sensitive electronic equipment. One thing that I've always loved about you is the way that despite your massive armory of impressively long swear words, uh, when you're really in trouble, uh, like for example when you've just pulled out an essential muscle from your arm by tripping over the dog, uh, you still say, oh mother. Uh, and in fact, I think in many ways you've inspired a number of catchphrases such as uh, nice sausages, have a squeeze of my sack, and of course, most recently, how is it my fault? I've had a stroke. Um, I'm sure Nick's already included this in uh, his descriptions, um, but uh, of course one of the memories that uh, we all hold so dear was from earlier this year when um, going round the site and talking about our impressive facts. One of those was the relations that you'd had in a graveyard, which came as a bit of a surprise to everyone watching, including your wife. Now, I don't know if anyone's ever seen the TV show Man Vs. Food, where a large American chap attempts to devour an entire continent. But uh, one memorable camp weekend uh, it was Man Vs. Drink, with John Smith as the drink, and Duncan most definitely as the man. He went through an entire crate. That's one every 20 minutes. 24 cans in the space of eight hours. Not even David Boone could match that. Of course, his skills as a family man are well-renowned. His pride in his daughter is demonstrable. His work with his son, inspirational. But perhaps most impressive of all, it's his God-given ability to wind Jane up in the shortest amount of time possible. It's a gift. But he does have his softer side, as he showed when he sang a special song for Jane at the campfire on one of their anniversaries. And of course, he's been there for me on both the best and the worst days of my life. And in all honesty, he really is the best of the best. Though if he could just remember to turn us on an alert when he's given his phone to Jane, that could help us avoid all sorts of unpleasantness. So from one magnificent old ruin to another, happy birthday, Duncan. This is Ben Sutherland, BBC News, in Libya.